we have our guy. Adolf Eichmann. The Ark. What are you doing? Today we're going to be doing another Try Not To Laugh. Uh, you guys just love these videos. I guess you guys just love laughing at my laugh. And I guess the clips as well. <laughs> but anyway, uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's try not to laugh. Because, you know, that's usually... Bring him to justice. At the time, Argentina harbored a sizable number of runaway German Nazis. Going on, lad. Oh my god, come have a look at this. You're a fucking shark, aren't you? That's right, I'm a fucking big dirty horrible shark. Now get on me. Yeah, I'll pass you now. Listen, me and the boys are having a party late. Do you want to uh, come along and I'll smash your fucking brains in? <laughs> Nazis, leaving Israel no hope that an extradition request would be honored. I would happily put a bullet in between his eyes, but that's not what we're doing here. This is strictly catch and extract. Eichmann will stand trial here in Israel. Led by Mossad operative Peter Malkin, an elite group abducts Eichmann and takes him to a safe house. There, Malkin tries to understand the man he saw as a monster. May I ask you something? I'm not in a position to refuse. Is it true you called the camps liquidation machines? Everyone used flippant terms for dirty work. Sir Ben Kingsley tells VOA that his depiction of a vulnerable and human Adolf Eichmann is a warning that the most heinous crimes in history are committed not by mythical monsters, but by everyday people. He relates a personal story that has haunted him over the years and informed his decision to take